Welcome back guys, draw a line, write today's date, heading to hyperbola, we're going to look how to sketch the hyperbola, but before we look at it, we know we can know certain things by looking at the standard form. So looking at this form, we know our A value shows us the shape of the graph, or the form it tells me which quadrant it's going to lie, the P is my vertical, uh, my horizontal shift, left or right, and my Q is my vertical shift up or down. And therefore. Therefore, if we look at the shape, when A is greater than 0, we're going to have a graph in quadrant 1 and quadrant 3. If A is smaller than 0, my graph is going to lie in quadrant 2 and quadrant 4. Remember, this with your asymptotes. Second thing we can know is your vertical and horizontal asymptotes. A vertical asymptote is always going to be when I take the P to the other side it becomes negative P so when X is equals to negative P. Why? Because negative P plus P is 0 and I can't have a 0 underneath the line. That's my vertical and then we have our horizontal. My horizontal, horizontal asymptote is when Y is equals to Q. So that will give me my horizontal asymptote always equation y equals q number four the fourth thing we know is the axis of symmetry the equation of axis of symmetry axis of symmetry I use the following I say y equals the bottom part x plus b plus q x plus b plus q x plus b plus q and then we might need the negative side of this graph so we have two equations of axis of symmetry the other one is going to be y equals negative in brackets x plus b in brackets plus q that's how we calculate the equation of the axis of symmetry it's easy as that and the fourth, fifth thing we know is the domain and range. For my domain, x is always an element of every value except my asymptote. For my range, it's exactly the same. x is an element of real numbers except my asymptote. Oh, sorry, it's y. Oof. So my range, my y value, element of real numbers, and y value, not my asymptote. Okay, that's what we know about the hyperbola. Now we're going to look how to sketch it. So when I sketch the graph, I always look at the shape, identify the shape, then I identify, write down the two asymptotes, I calculate the x and y intercepts, and then I write an equation of the axis of symmetry, and then I plot the points and sketch it as easy as that. Here's an example. So my first step is to identify the shape of my graph it's a negative graph so if I look at my um, shape it's going to be in quadrant 2 and 4 because A is smaller than 0 then I look at my asymptotes if I look at my asymptotes we have the vertical one is where x is equal to the other side equals positive 2 not negative 2 and my y will be to 4 for my other asymptote. So this is my, my asymptote. Then the third thing we can look at or need to calculate is the intercepts. Okay, so for my y intercept we make x0, for my x intercept we make y0. It's the same as the previous one. Pause the video quickly to see if you can get to the answer I'm getting. So for my y intercept I made x0. With my x intercept, I make y zero. Now it's an equation. We solve this. So y is equal negative four over neg uh, over negative two. Two goes into four two times, and plus that four. So therefore, we can say y is equals two plus four is six. So when x is zero, y will be six. Then the other side. Okay. Firstly, I'm taking the four to the other side, so it becomes negative four. Then I times both sides with x minus 2, that's my LCD. 
so this side I have negative 4 x minus 2 and this side the negative 4 stays there then I times it in so I have negative 4 x negative 4 times 2 is 8 and now I take the 8 to the other side so I have negative 4 minus 8 minus 4 minus 8 equals minus 12 I divide both sides by negative 4 to get my x alone so therefore x is equals to 3 so when x is 3 my y is 0 okay let's go to number 4 number 4 is my axis of symmetry so therefore we're going to have y equals x plus p plus q and the other one will be p i equals minus x minus x plus b in brackets plus q now we just substitute in and get my equation so remember this one is exactly as at the bottom here my x minus 2 plus 4 exactly for the first equation here and the other one other one is just going to be the same but inside brackets now I simplify and I get my equations so I have this side minus 2 plus 4 is 2 y equals x plus 2 is my one equation this side that times in the negative I get minus x plus 2 because negative times negative is positive plus this 4 4 plus 2 is 6 so my other equation of symmetry axis of symmetry is minus x plus x. Right, now we're going to sketch it so I sketch my Cartesian plane so now and now we're going to look so first we know the form and quadrant 2 and quadrant 4 then I have my asymptotes, x is 2, y is 4. So x is 2, x is 2, and y is 4. So I wrote, I sketched the graph like that. This point here is important. Remember to write this equation of my asymptote was x equals 2, and the equation of my horizontal asymptote was x equals to ah, y equals to, to 4 ok then we have our intercepts 0, 6 and 3, 0 so we have 0, 6 and 3, 0 it's my two intercepts and we know my graph is going to have this shape this side and this is 0, 6 and it's going to have it shape this side at the point 3 0 so there's my graph now we can add the axis of symmetry because they're gonna ask you or they will ask you so the one is going through the y point from this point y from the negative side it cuts my y axis at 6 so a decline line it cuts my graph at 6 So this equation is y equals negative x plus 6. Then my axis of symmetry for my positive graph cuts my graph at 2. At 2 always goes through that point. So y is equals to x plus 2. Zim bam I sketch everything needed in this sketch. Here's your homework. Okay, so your homework is to sketch this graph for me and then do exercise on page 59, number 3, only A and B. Enjoy. Next we will look at how to calculate the equation of the hyperbola.